joining me for this edition of Eye on the Arts is Kirk Mus Muspratt, music director and conductor of the Northwest Indiana Symphony Orchestra. And Kirk, nice to have you back. Thank you, John. You're looking very casual today. Um, I thought, in, <laughs> since you're wearing a bow tie. Uh -huh, right, well, <laughs> it's autumn. Right. Exactly. You look autumnal. Oh, yes, thank you. The yes. lovely word. I love <laughs> that word. I do, too. Uh -huh. um, so we have, uh, we've had our first uh, Pops concert, our first concert of the year, a very successful movie concert. People loved it. Loved got it. lots of you got lots of accolades, and now we have, you know, <laughs> we, we like that <laughs> applause, and uh, now our first classical concert comes up, on the what twenty twenty third yeah twenty third October Friday night at Bethel Auditorium, and this and the theme is tell us about the theme of the concert Amadeus yes. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart one of the great geniuses of Western art, mm -hmm. and the concert John is really in three parts. Uh, the first part is a sampler of different small pieces of Mozart, mm -hmm. because like a movement of a symphony, a movement of a harp and flute concerto, a movement of a harpsichord concerto and overture. People sometimes ask us, could you do some shorter little pieces mm -hmm. you know, of, of a great artist like Mozart? And then I'm going to show some bits of Amadeus, the movie, because the third part of the concert is the Requiem. Mm. which many people are excited about. Love, love that, yeah. And the chorus, our, our Northwest Indiana Symphony. 130. Chorus, all volunteers. All volunteers, all hot. Yeah, they're really great. They're great singers. Yeah, 130. And Nancy Menk is the chorus director. She sure is. And she is with St. Mary's College. Yes. And she has been with the chorus, directing it for many, many years 15 now. 15 years, and does a magnificent job, yes. Yeah. And we have four soloists also. Three of them are from the Ryan Center at the uh -huh. Lyric Opera. Uh -huh. And one of them has just graduated from Northwestern with his master's degree, and he's a real hot new young bass. In the and they're all performing. Uh, yeah, Requiem. on the Requiem. Yeah. And the reason I, I want to do the film with the Requiem is that, as we know, Mozart, it was as he was dying, he was writing the Requiem. He's mm -hmm. 35, and he's dying. I remember that from yes, the movie. <laughs> exactly. And he doesn't finish it. You can see exactly in the manuscript where he finishes, and the Requiem's not done. So we, we want people to come. We want, we're yeah. sell, sell, tickets are selling well. Yes. And Let's we did sell, sell out. out two of our classical concerts last year. Yes, so order Bethel. them now. Yeah. yeah. And you can, oh, and now we have our new wonder thing online where you can pick your own seats. Right. It's really fun. It's cool. It's very interactive. It's autumnal. It's not <laughs> autumnal. It's awesome is what it is. But that was clever of you to say okay. so anyway. Well, thank you for being here to tell us about the concert, Kirk. Thank you, John. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll be back again next week with another edition of Eye on the Arts. Eye on the Arts is made possible in part by South Shore Arts, the Indiana Arts Commission, and the National Endowment for the Arts, a federal agency.